here's another Maya quick tip that I use to wrap things like handles or sword hilts. To get a result like this, sometimes it can be a little difficult to figure out how exactly to start going about it and how to get it to look the way that you're wanting to. But this is a quick shortcut that I like to use because it gives me far greater control than using some sort of automated spiral or anything like that. And I feel like it gives pretty great results. The way I like to do this is when you have your object in your scene and you have it selected, go ahead, make your object live, open up your modeling toolkit. And from here, we're going to go to quad draw. We're going to start drawing our points on our object. Hold shift to generate that first face. And then from here, just start slightly drawing down the model. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can adjust this later and get it looking the way you want to. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm not going to go all the way down, but once you're done with this, you can go ahead and hit enter. And then you may notice that your object kind of shrinks in. You can just scale it out if you need to. The nice thing about this is you can go as detailed as you want to to match the curvature of your hilt. But from here, go ahead and turn off live surface and then go ahead and make the adjustments that you need to to get this looking more like a strap of leather or whatever it is you're 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 kind of going for. And so now with your object selected, what you can do, you can select all the faces. You can just extrude them. And I'll just extrude them twice and then scale the second extrusion. And you can see when you smooth that, it looks like a nice piece of tape. Depending on how much you work with this, you can make this look like a very hand wrapped object, something that would be realistically grounded in your scene. And you can play with this however you'd like.